Hi everyone, this is a topic related to homeomorphism. The homeomorphism is related to an operation called edge subdivision. So we have to study what is edge subdivision. Consider the graph, the triangle shaped graph with the vertices A, B, C. Okay. And we are going to subdivide the edge B, C. Okay, like this. This is A, this is B and this is C. Vertex A, B, C. We are going to subdivide the edge B, C by introducing a new vertex in between this edge. That means delete the edge B, C and add these two edges to the newly given vertex D. Okay. So the edge B, C is subdivided into edges B, D and D, C. So this is an example for edge subdivision. Again, consider this graph A, B, D, C. This is a graph obtained by edge subdivision of first graph. This is G1 and this is graph G2. Okay. Then consider G2. Next, we are going to subdivide A, B. For that, delete edge A, B and introduce a new vertex whose degree is 2 in between this edge. That means we can write a b c d then introducing a new edge means introduce a vertex of degree 2 in between these two vertices a b then c d other edges are same a c d c and b d let the name be a b c d e okay so edge a b is divided into two edges that means there is a path from a to b Actually, the meaning is introduce a new vertex whose degree is 2. Insertion of a vertex of degree 2. That is actually known as edge subdivision. This is the graph G3. G3 is obtained from G2 by edge subdivision of the edge AB. Okay. And next term terminology is homeomorphism. Actually, what is homeomorphism? Homeomorphism means if one graph is obtained from other by a sequence of edge subdivision. We can say that BC is subdivided into BD and DC. G2 is obtained from G1 after edge subdivision of BC. Then second, G3 is obtained from G2 after the edge subdivision of BA. BA is edge BA is subdivided into BE and EA. Therefore, we can say that G1 and G2 graph G1 and G2 are homeomorphic to each other. Homeomorphic. Similarly, graphs G2 and G3. These two graphs are also homeomorphic. Okay. Actually, G3 is obtained from G1 after two edge subdivisions. BC is divided into BDC and AB is subdivided into BE and EA. So, G1 is homeomorphic to G2, G2 is homeomorphic to G3 and what about G1 and G3? G1 is homeomorphic to G3. So, this is the meaning of homeomorphism. And in reverse, here there is an edge, sorry, there is a vertex of degree 2. Actually, edge subdivision means insert a vertex of degree 2 in between these two vertices by deleting that edge. Okay. In reverse in the reverse process if we delete the edge e and join a and b we can write this graph actually this is the meaning of homeomorphism next is kuratowski's theorem what is kuratowski's theorem it states that a graph is non planar if if and only if this is necessary and sufficient condition there is a subgraph which is homeomorphic to k5 or k33 we know the peculiarities of K3 and K5 and K33. What about these two graphs? These two graphs are non-planar graphs. These two graphs are non-planar. Now what is K5? K5 is the complete graph with the 5 vertices. We can draw K5 like this. Join these two, sorry, these edges. Then this is actually K5. What about the number of vertices, number of edges, etc.? 
in this case number of vertices it is denoted by n number of vertices equal to 5 number of edges equal to then it is a complete graph k5 k5 has n into n minus 1 by 2 that is 5 into 4 by 2 10 edges and what about the degree of each vertex this is actually 4 regular all vertex in a degree 4 on a, then it is a 4 regular graph okay this is actually k5 now what is k33 we can draw k33 like this this is k33 this is k33 it is also a non planar graph with six vertices number of vertices equal to six number of edges is equal to three into three k33 uh, number of edges equal to nine then what is the degree of each vertex degree of each vertex is equal to three it is actually a three regular graph this is the graph k33 okay it is three regular and we know that both are non planar Okay, but we have a graph of K5 and K33 identify using the operation homeomorphism. Okay, identify a subgraph which is homeomorphic to K5 or K33. We can say that the given graph is non planar. Okay, this graph is non planar. We can say that the graph is non planar. We can say that the graph is Non, the given graph is non-planar. That is actually Kuratovsky's theorem. Let us do one problem. So the question is, use Kuratovsky's theorem to prove that the given graph is non-planar. This is the graph. We have to prove that the graph is non-planar. That means we have to identify K5 or K33 from this graph. Using two operations. First one, identify a subgraph. Okay, this is step one. Then, we have to identify a k5 or k33 k5 means a complete graph with five vertices k5 or k33 in namukku kittirikkana graph k5 umaitano k33 umaitano compare cheyanda ennalla nammal adam identify cheyanam for that we know that k5 what is k5 k5 is a complete graph with five vertices five vertices under ella vertex in a degree 4 aanu it is a four regular graph k33 it is Complete bipartite graph with six vertices and the degree of each vertex is three regular. Now, identify the number of vertices first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices under. This is the number of six five vertices. This is the six vertices under maximum. This is the number of eight under. This is the number of compare to the number of eight two and three vertices delete and divide. We have to delete two or three vertices in order to get the number of vertices same as K5 or K33. Then, next, check the degree of each vertex. Vertex A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. It is actually the given graph is three regular. Okay. The given graph is three regular. Therefore, we know that K33 is three regular. We graph in K33 identify So, as the step one, we have to identify a subgraph. We can obtain a subgraph either by deleting some edges or by deleting vertices or both. Okay. Subgraph form GN, edges delete here, along vertices delete here. What happens when we delete some vertices? Or if vertex delete here, then we can remove all the edges incident to that vertex. Patch and remove the edges like all the edges remove the edges. Okay. But anyway, this is the total number of vertices in the end of the edges in the edges in the end of the edges in the end of k33 and we will compare the edges in the end of the edges in the end of the edges anyway we can either delete some edges or vertices vertices remove the edges suppose we are going to remove h what happens ah this edge is removed gh is removed then eh is also removed okay then i'm going to want to get in both e graph f G, E vertex in a degree 2 wow, E vertex in a degree 2 wow, E vertex in a degree 2 wow. But I'm going to three regular graph of form G and I'm going to subgraph not that you edges add G and put him on Tana. Therefore, we have to delete some edges. Edges remove G that vertices remove G in the three problem where the vertices remove G that automatically edges would remove out. Okay, we have to form subgraphs. Subgraph no original, either in the edges and vertices core of one, either in the add G and I'm going to subgraph for you see the patilla. Next step is 
identify a homomorphism. Homomorphism means remove all the vertices of degree 2. Degree 2 all the vertices remove jaya enola homeomorphism enola no deshi kinda. P graph na the vertices remove jayda anya korchu kora complicated aum. Padu onda in this particular graph I am going to delete an edge. Okay. We cannot add an edge so that the degree of vertices uh, equal to 4. In the case of 5, 4 regular aana, degree of vertices is 4. We can add edges. We can add edges. We can add subgraph in the property. We can identify the k33. We can identify the graph. We can identify the homeomorphism. We can add k33. Homeomorphic then, but vertices remove the complication. The edges remove the Okay. Then, as the first step, I am going to identify a subgraph. Subgraph is obtained by deleting an edge. Okay. But, I remove the edge. A edge one remove Remove edge DB. Okay. Remove edge DB. What happens? So, this is a subgraph obtained by deleting or removing edge DB. Then, and we can identify two different vertices whose degree is equal to 2. Identify B and D. Degree of B and D is equal to 2. Okay. For the next, apply the homeomorphism property. Apply the what is homeomorphism property? Remove all vertices of degree 2 and all the homeomorphism property. Then for that, in this graph, I am going to remove or erase vertices B. Okay. Vertices B and uh, D. So, if we remove vertices of degree 2, that means B and D, then actually the edges incident to B are also deleted. But in homeomorphism property, what is, the, what is homeomorphism property? If we delete a vertex of degree 2, then we can add edge AC like this. If you A, B, B, C, no edge removed, I pom, A, M, C, no join jayana. So, delete vertices of degree 2, B and D remove jayana, and then a quarter than every guide order jayana, edge A, C and edge A, F add jayana. Okay. So, remove B and add edge A, C. A, C is actually not in this graph, but here, using homeomorphism property, A, C, A, F, join jayana. Then count the number of vertices 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is same as number of vertices of K33. Then check the degrees of each vertex A, C, E, H, G, F. All the vertices are of degree 3. It is actually 3 regular and number of vertices is equal to 6. Okay. Now, so there is a possibility and we can show that this is isomorphic to K33. Okay, P graph in the bipartite graph K33 form G. That form G. This is the given graph and this is a subgraph obtained by removing the edge DB. Then using homeomorphism property, remove BD vertices BD because B and D are of degree 2 and Using the homeomorphism property, add the edge AC. AC is not here, but we have to join AC here. Then AF is not here and join AF here. Then add the BMD remove the AC AF join jedu. And this graph is isomorphic to K33. We can easily prove this one. Now in this graph, let us draw the bipartite graph of this graph. Let's start with the edge AC or Consider the vertex A, the neighbors of A are C, H and F. Draw the bipartite graph like this. This is A, its neighbors are C, H and F. Okay. Then consider C. C has three neighbors. C A, C E, C G. C A is here. Then C E and C G. Okay. So A and C are over. Then go to E. E has three neighbors. C, H and F. E is here. C, H and F. C is here. Join H and E to F. E is also over. A, C, E. Then H. H is in the second part. 
h has three neighbors one neighbor is a that is already there e to sorry h to e that is also there then h to g join h to g which is also over then g g has three neighbors f h and c this is g then h join f and c finally f f has three neighbors a g and e this is f a g and e okay so this is the bipartite graph so that the total number of vertices are partitioned into two groups a e g c h f and it is clearly k33 that means this graph is isomorphic to isomorphic to k33 this graph is k33 okay the graph uh, a subgraph which is homeomorphic and that homeomorphic graph is isomorphic to k33 and we know that k33 is non planar and hence the given graph the given graph is also non planar by kuratovsky theorem okay okay thank you